went down one of those roads nobody should have to go. I see Love is Stronger as being another defining song for my career, and I just feel like it will spread virally, especially with the music video that we're going to be releasing on the 20th of June. I just feel like it's going to be another message, just like the call that people will send to other people. People will take something from it. People will want to watch this video over and over because there's so many subliminal messages in it. So I feel like Love is Stronger is just anointed. I think it's going to do what it's going to do, and I think it's going to be a, a awfully big song out there for me. And that's, uh, that's from up above, man. I chose the cover photo for this project. Well, first off, because it was a photo that I haven't used before. And it's kind of got me, when you look at it, off into deep thought. And it's a very serious look. Uh, I've always kind of been the denim, you know, rugged kind of guy. So I think it was a good interpretation of... Uh, what I look like, what my style is, and now living out here in the Midwest part-time between Nashville. It's just kind of like a Midwest rocking guy. So that's why I picked that, and uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So hopefully it'll attract the human eye on iTunes, and uh, people will click play. That's what it's all about. Love is Stronger was uh, recorded at the House of Blues at Sun Studio. Uh, Nick Worley had a place over there, Paul's son. And like I said, Paul Worley produces things solely by himself. And uh, the studio had a great vibe. I mean, it's really a, a place that I would like to work again. I worked at the other House of Blues, the larger studio. I like both of them. So, you know, we continue on. Hopefully we'll be back in the same studio. But the vibe was really brought in by the players and Paul Worley and his son, Nick. Love is Stronger was chosen to be the first song on this project because it simply got it all started again. And I'm known for making music that has a message in it and that has an impact. And we try to influence people with the music, and we try to provide them with healing and an outlet and showing them, hey, here's somebody else who's been through this. So this song was the song that brought Paul Worley and I together professionally to start working together in the studio. And he's been somebody I've wanted to work with for about 15 years. And based on his track record, we were both in full agreement that this song was the song that we needed to get out there. I've also seen with the call, that was my first song out, and after that, it's been a while since we've had another one. So we felt like, hey, if we're gonna have another song out, it needs to be this one. So pretty much, that's the story right there. I was blessed to record this song, written by Mikey Mobley, who has got a tremendous track record. He's written some big songs for Rascal Flatts, Kenny Chesney. Uh, you know, my favorite line in the song is, that heavy cross you carry ain't weighing you down any longer. And, you know, that really just speaks true right there. And it's got a little faith in it. And it's not necessarily a contemporary Christian song. It's a song that I think could be almost like I can only imagine and cross over into several genres. So I'm really excited about what's going to happen here. And uh, Mikey Mobley, he wrote it. It's a true story. And uh, I believe in the songwriters in Nashville. I feel it's important to get their support. And there, there's a lot of great songs and a lot of talent out there. And I want to be able to record the best songs I can find and or write. Well, I knew I definitely wanted Paul Worley to produce this song. 
just been a big fan, like I said earlier. His uh, production for a long time and, and the team of musicians that he works with, it was really ironic, but every person I asked to play on the record, <clears throat> from JT Cornfloss, who's a dear friend of mine, on the guitar, ACM Guitarist of the Year a few years ago, you won't find a better player than him. Chad Cromwell, incredible drummer. Steve Nathan on keys. Craig Young on bass. Uh, I mean, we literally had a dream team. Biff Watson, the band leader, who's Paul Worley's brother-in-law. I've worked with Biff a lot. Big fan of him as well. Nick Worley, Paul's son, engineered this record, mixed it. So it was really a close-knit group of people uh, working on this uh, record. And then when it came time to do the music video, I enlisted the help of Casting Life Films, who I've worked with before on my anti-bullying campaign. So this has all been about working with the people that's close to me and now my team, from my publicist to um, everybody I'm working with right now, Grassroots, some of those guys, I've worked with them all before. So this is like dance with the ones that brought us. before I heard the song for the very first time, which I'll get to that. But my family was asking me how my career was going. And it's always, hey, it's it's going pretty good, you know, keeping busy. You know, I'm not where I want to be, but hey, I'm still in the game. And I was on Facebook after everyone went to bed that night. And I saw Love is Stronger pop up on my news feed. And I saw Mike Mobley's name, which I know who Mike is. I've communicated with him. Uh, we know a lot of the same people, and I have a lot of respect for his work. And he had this story about this meeting that he had, and it was a true story. And he went home immediately and wrote the song by himself. And to me, I think that's what a song should be, and that's what it is. And I knew I had to record it. I knew this song could be just as big, if not bigger, than The Call. And I just felt like, you know what, let's let's do a video to this, let's record this. And it's like all the dots had connected around this song. So this is my song, and I feel like this is my time, and there's a lot of people out there that need to hear this message. So that's why I recorded Love Is Stronger. But love is stronger. You're finally facing the sun.